Gina. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I will be opening this and showing you what's inside Gemstone Orphanage Box. This is a box put together a lot like I put my treasure bag together by Deb and Steve of HomestrungJewelry.com and they also have a YouTube channel by the same name. I will be putting links to their website and their YouTube channel and the box itself in the information box beneath the video player. That way you can check out everything they have to offer. There will be an, a limited amount of these boxes available for my viewers as soon as this video airs. It is, however, a subscription that is offered every other month. There's still a few slots available if you're interested in subscribing. If you want to subscribe, please utilize the chat or support messaging service on their website and they will get back to you and get you all signed up. I will be opening this box today and will be, and Deb will be airing a video of my treasure bag and showing pieces made with it in a few days. We will then co collaborate on the 7th of February at 12 o'clock Mountain Time and we will both be making tutorials combining both the treasure bag and the gemstone orphanage box. This box is called Polychrome Dra Jasper. And we decided it would be fun to collaborate in this fashion and show you how well the two boxes can be combined considering her box has a lot of gemstones which can be used as focals and mine has a lot of strands, long strands of beads to accompany them. This box is centered around one particular gemstone pendant which is what they call the orphan gemstone and you can adopt it. There are adoption papers, pictures of the gemstone, and interesting information about that particular gemstone. And it's a very clever way of introducing gemstones into your jewelry making process. So let's not waste any more time and let's open this box and look at the orphan gemstone first. And we'll just go from there. So I'm going to open this up. It's really nice. It has a piece of tissue paper, in, but I took it out just because I wanted to. <laughs> I haven't looked at any of the stuff. I just kind of took the um, tissue paper out. And here we see we have an introduction here. It says, we asked all the gemstone orphans what they wanted for their first birthday. This is their anniversary box. This is the first, the anniversary of their um business so it's a special box and it's and they all said the same thing they wanted a new gemstone dolly to bring home to their new to bring with them to their new home they're funny they have good sense of humor so along with the biggest bestest box ever you are getting a new gemstone dolly in your big heart of stone first anniversary edition box so this is a special box and let's find that little orphan. You can see it's really nicely put in here. There's a bag of findings, there's a bag of beads, and there is the orphan. And it looks like we've got something special here too. Okay, celebrate our first anniversary with this gemstone dolly from May 2023 subscription box, Picasso Jasper. So you get a nice little Picasso Jasper dolly, I guess <laughs> we're calling it. That's really cute. And it's a nice stone. And um, the bag is kind of hard to open. It's sealed. So let me see if I can get this open. And I'll show you this little piece of Jasper. Nice little cabochon. And then, and it's the same size as I used for one of my tutorials, bezeling. So that would be nice to put that in, pick out some nice seed beads to go with it. Okay, I'm going to set the box aside just to get it out of our way. And this is our orphan here. And these here are our adoption papers, I'm assuming. So let's look inside and see. This is the really important stuff. So this is all the information about your little orphan. And then these are the adoption papers, I'm sure. Let's see. This is the adoption certificate. So this one is called Cordy. 
that is the name of our little gemstone. So let's look at him and see what he looks like here. Cordy is the German and Latin origin and means little heart. Oh, so hey, it's a heart. Look at this, guys. This is really pretty, and it's good size. But look at how pretty this is. Very, very, very pretty. And there's the back of it. It's got a nice, nice color swirl. V very pretty gemstone. And this will make a very nice necklace. So I am going to put little Cordy back in his little baggie. And we are going to go through the bag of beads first, and then we'll go through the bag of findings. But first, I need to arrange everything a little bit so that um, I don't stumble through, stumble through the whole thing. So let me arrange things a little bit, and then I'll show you what's in this bag. Okay, the first thing I wanted to mention was that there is a list in the box that tells you everything that's in both bags. So you have one side that has everything that's in the bead bag and one side that shows everything that is in the findings bag. It looks like there are 31 items in the bead bag and 27 in the findings. So that's a lot of little pouches full of stuff. So what we're going to do as I have laid everything out that was in the bead bag just so you can see how much was in there. And we're going to start with one section at a time. So I have pulled out all of the really pretty carnelian gemstones on top and we'll start with that and then we will go through the rest of them. But I wanted to show you, I've taken our little orphan back out of his bag and I want to show you just how pretty these colors go with this orphan because they are just really nicely um, curated here. And the first thing you're going to get in your pouches is carnelian round beads which are six millimeter in diameter and you're going to get 28 of them and I want you to see just how pretty this is with this. Then you're also going to get a bag that has um, six millimeter carnelian frosted rounds in them and there are 25 of them and I want you to see the colors together just like this this is so pretty when you are using one general color you want to have different depths of that color and just a little bit not so much different tones but you want to make sure that you have maybe a different texture like the frosted and the polished together this is what make your pieces pop and this is done beautifully for you here we have the deep carnelian and then we have the lighter frosted carnelian and plenty of them to make a nice amount of um, pops of carnelian in whatever you string this for. So I'm just going to, I blended these together. I'll probably keep them together for me anyway, but I wanted you to see how pretty that blends. And then we have some 9 to 12 millimeter round carnelian beads. These are nice big bold ones which will pop really nicely. Again, we have the different depths of color here. So right here we have a nice necklace if we wanted to put one together. Then we have some pieces of bamboo carnelian. These are grade A and most of these are grade A and that means that they're very nicely drilled. They have nice depth of color. They're nicely polished or um, whatever you usually look for in a gemstone, these are a higher quality. So you're getting six of these bamboo shaped carnelian beads also. They're really, really pretty. Again, with all the mix of colors here, this is going to make something really stunning together. Then you're getting some cubes, some carnelian cubes, and there are five in here. And again, this is a little bit of the lighter tone, so it's going to work beautifully. And of course, each gemstone is going to be a little bit different. This is the one I received, but they're all going to be a little bit different because they are natural stones. But um, the colors that she's put together tell me that the polychrome 
is a lot in this carnelian color. So that's what I am assuming anyway. Then we've got an oval and two drops. Again, really nice. This oval is highly polished, really pretty. I'm going to get you in closer so you can see these beads a little bit better. They are really pretty beads. And I'm not just saying that. I really believe that. What a gorgeous deep burnt orange color. It's just really nice winter fall type of colors here. Now these are faceted rondelles. And again, look at how pretty they are. Beautiful faceting on them. And some of them have really nice clear colors to them. The others are a little bit more opaque. Again, a nice blend of depth for whatever piece you put together. Just, I really like this together. I'm piling them together just because I want to see it all together. And then we've got these really pretty little discs in carnelian. And again, very nicely faceted. Look at the sparkle on them. These are also grade A. They're just really beautifully done. Just really gorgeous. And that's a lot of gemstone right there people's a whole lot. Then we've got three millimeter spacer beads that are carnelian also. Again, perfect blend of depths of color here. And this is going, this would make one gorgeous set of jewelry. And you could make a set of earrings. You can make a bracelet with the bamboos. You could, it just, there's a lot you can do here with these particular beads. So that is the first section of gemstones in this bag. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to come back, organize a few things and show you what's next. Okay, now we're going to move into the next section and this is the next section of gemstone type of pieces here. And we have magnesite as the star here. And we're going to go through each one of these. But I did notice that a lot of these items that are listed on here are combined in one bag. So there isn't 31 bag bags per se, but there are 31 items or different types of beads. So... We are going to start with the um, magnesite rounds. These are eight millimeter, and these are really pretty. They're going to complement your um, carnelian really well, and I'll put them up with the carnelian and show you what it all looks like together. And let's see if I can find it. There are 20 of these, so very nice. They have a really nice marbling in them. Very pretty. It kind of looks like marble, actually. And I remember when I was a kid, we had these marble tables in the living room, and it reminds me of that. So I'm going to just put them up here, and I will show you everything together so you can see what the colors look like. And then we have some 6 millimeter round magnesite. Same thing, just different size. Again, nice marbling very nicely drilled, feel very nice, just a good gemstone, just really good, I like it. So we're going to put that there, and then we've got some four millimeter round magnesite beads. Same thing, just smaller. And you're getting really nice portions here, just uh, perfect amounts to put a pop of gemstone here and there. And that's why we thought it would be fun to do our bags together because my bags don't include a lot of gemstones, but they have a lot of beads, long strands. Hers have less in the amount of, um, the total amount of beads, but they're all gemstones. And so you can splash gemstones in with the crystals in the glass and really make a nice companion for the two boxes. Put this here. And I'm talking long term too. If you got a subscription of hers and then you bought my bag consistently, then you know you you wouldn't really need anything else because you'd have a blend of gemstones and glass and crystal. And I want to give you a little looky see up here. 
what we've got so far. Now the next one is Magnesite Spears, graduated spears, and they are, I'm going to lay them out and then I'm going to show them to you. These make a really cool necklace. And with the graduated sizes, because you can lay them out. And I'm doing this quickly. I may not get it perfectly, so don't laugh at me. Don't laugh, don't laugh. Okay, let's see. But anyway, you get the gist. On a necklace, you can lay these out, and I'm going to get you in close so you can actually see them. This is really pretty. And again, they are magnesite. And it kind of reminds me of bone. These kind of remind me of bone. That that would be make a really cool southwestern type necklace. That would be really neat. So you've got the whole set here of these spears. And I'm going to put them up by the rest of the beads. And then we've got some magnesite turtles and magnesite hishi. So these are listed separately on the list, however, they're in the same bag. So you've got these cute little turtles and they're vertically drilled. That's really cute. Make little cute earrings. I mean, you can, you could really dress these up with some beads above it. Th those are just cute. I just like them. And then some heshi. Um, heshi. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. I, I, sometimes I hear it pronounced heshi and sometimes I, I hear it pronounced heshi. You know, it is something like that. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. So you've got a nice little um, pop of different shapes here to combine in your pieces and make them nice and unique looking. I like to have different shapes in everything um, I put together because the shapes, the textures, and the colors make a really big difference in your pieces. So this is what I have so far. And then we have some tiny little shell pearls. These are three millimeter and I'm going to show these to you. The cute little things. Tiny. Adorable. You can do a lot with little tiny spacer beads too and having a little pop of a little pearl is going to make a big difference because you can especially with these carnelian, you can really make a nice neutral brightness to your piece. So that'll work really nice together too. I'm not going to take these out of the bag simply, or I did, but I'm going to leave them in the bag simply because I will lose them. I know I will. And then there are two um, colors of hematite in here. So we've got copper, I think copper tone and we've got regular hematite beads here and these are also three millimeter and there's a nice little handful of these in here and um, these again with your magnus your magna me, 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 <laughs> magnesite rounds and use them as a spacer in between either the copper or the um, hematite color, either one would work really pretty as a little spacer in between and put them in the graduated fashion that I showed you and blam, you got a piece. So that will work really nice together. This is really actually very nicely curated and um, thought out. I, I'm really enjoying this bag. Then we've got some blister pearls here and they are big. Look at that. And again, on the back of your magnesite, String these, put your magnesite together in the graduated fashion that I showed you, and put these towards, the, oh yeah, that would be just cool, just really cool. So I'm going to put these up here, and there's a good size, a, a, a nice little handful there, I like that. Okay, so this is what we have so far and I am going to get a few more things out. If I get too much going all at once, then it just, um, I just get off on my sheet and I can't tell you what they are. So this is what we have so far. It looks really pretty together and I'm going to go get a few more things and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so this is our next batch from the, the bead bag itself. So right away, you can see we have some super duos here. And these are the Picasso type. I really like these. And you are getting, let's see if I can find that, 100 plus super duos. So there's more than 100 in this bag. It's an approximation, I'm sure. And these are um, chalk traver travertine. So, okay. It, it looks like Picasso to me. And those are really nice. Of course, we just did a Super Duo tutorial, so that will work with those. And I'm going to set that aside. Then we've got this little mix of different sizes of... Um, Heshi, hematite Heshi beads. Some are copper plated, some are, um, some are the hematite color, some are rose gold color, and they're all different sizes. So you have a nice mix here. She has them all laid out, tells what sizes they are, but they're all separate, but in one bag. So they're all listed on the list. Very nice. And this is tiny, so I'm going to put it back in the bag. Again, nice spacers. And then we have a half strand of eight millimeter glass pearls, and these are mixed colors, and these are very nice glass pearls. You can give yourself a uh, bigger um, spacer here, um, a pop of the pearl luster look in your piece. And again, the colors go very nicely with the rest of the beads. I'm going to put them he here, I think. I think, maybe, maybe not. There's quite a few of them and they want to fall off. And then we've got some cuboid beads and I use these quite often in a lot of my tutorials and things. I really like these. These are goldenrod color, that's what it's called, but it's a very nice orange with kind of a pink, um, oh, what do we want to call luster to it. These are really pretty. They're electroplated glass, and these will go very nicely with the colors that we have previously, too, and I'll show you that all together in a moment. And we have some... Um, these are crystal, and they're mixed. They're... I never can say this word, and I'm going to say it wrong, abacus shape, and um, I'm sure I said that completely wrong with the emphasis on all the wrong syllables. I'm sorry, but, you know, sometimes I just do things like that, and you're just going to have to deal with me. <laughs> but these are really pretty. These will go really nicely in the pieces with the colors that um, she has chosen here, and they will complement it very well. And then we've got some Twisted Bugles, and there are, I think I read about 50 in here, so there's quite a few. And again, really nice color. They go really nice with these blister pearls. Look at that, those colors together. Ha, huh? perfect. So um, we've got some of these Twisted Bugles. And then we've got some Miyuki 15 O seed beads, and these are called root beer. And I'm not going to take those out because we all know 15 O's will just, they'll just leave. They'll just go everywhere. So you get a package of Miyuki 15 O seed beads. And then we've got a mix of Czech Crystal. This is a custom mix of colors, and these are bicones. And Again, very pretty, and the colors are perfect with the rest of the theme we have going on here. Just gorgeous. So these are the beads, and I'm going to show you again the entire thing here. That's a lot of beads. And I did not mention this bag is $45.50, I believe, or $45.60. I will have to make sure I will put all that information in the um, description box beneath the video player. So if I say something wrong, just know to refer to that 
information box and there is a six dollar flat shipping fee um with that cost so i wrote it down but you know can't find it so these are all the beads that are in the bag i'm going to scoot this back i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you all the findings so this is video is taking quite a while because there is a lot in this bag and being gemstones this is a pretty nice little bounty here i'll be right back Okay, so this is everything that was in the findings bag. Now, again, there are several different items in each bag. Each item is listed separately, but they are bagged together. So you're still getting as many items as I told you you're getting. There's just not as many bags, but you're still getting a bunch of items. So I wanted to show you, and we're just going to briefly go over what's in each findings bag here. And you've got some rose gold ear stud stainless steel rose gold plated and i believe these are them here so you've got these little studs that have a nice little hole here and i'm going to get you close so you can see them nice little hole here so that you can dangle things from them and then they're stud type and then you've got two rose gold french wire type of ear findings too so those are really pretty. The rose gold color, of course, goes really good with all these colors that are here because everything is in that nice, pretty, golden, peachy, pinky tone here. And then we've got some bales. So we've got a pinch bale, which will work really nicely with your orphan I believe we will try them on there and find out but um, these are little rhinestone pinch bales and this is in the rose gold tone these I have a lot I use them quite often I love these little guys they're really cute and then here is a couple of other little drop bales that you can use on bracelets to hang a dangle from there's one in antique copper tone and your rose gold tone here or bright copper tone. So those will help you make some nice design options there, or give you design options. And then we've got a bag of clasps here, I believe. And these look like they're all in antique copper tone, and you're getting some triple. So you have triple loops on these, so you can make a triple strand. And then you have a couple of lobster claws and then you have this pretty little flowery um, toggle so that's a nice amount of clasps there but that's not all of them because I see a few more we've got this big lobster claw and then we've got a box style clasp and a hook style so these are really nice I like these you just squeeze it out well, I have to mess with it, but you squeeze it. And you know how it is with me. Nothing cooperates, but I will I will show you. If I use that in a tutorial, I'll show you how to use that. And um, I'm sure Deb will too. She'll demonstrate it on her unboxing. So um, these are really nice to make purse charms with. I love to make purse charms with these and just dangle them off my purse. Or keychain is really nice too. And then you've got your little S-shape hook here. And then we have in the clasp department here, so you're getting a lot of clasps. This is another. You're getting a very large textured toggle, and then you're getting a two strand slip lock type um, clasp. So you could make a double strand bracelet with that. These are in the antique copper tone. Again, very nice color for this color selection in this bag. And then we have a mixture of links and um, this little links that you can put in your pieces. You've got some flower links small and then some larger ones you've got some round links and these always offer a lot of options for design and um, I use 
the round links like this quite a bit just to put as a hang my focal up my necklace or something off so these are really nice to use too lots of design options with these findings and you're getting a nice little mix of them not everything is all exactly the same it's all a little bit different so you can work different things into your designs here and you've got some nice flower bead caps again the antique copper tone nice little selection of those that's more than enough to make something a little bit fancier with a bead cap then we've got this mix of beads here some cylindrical beads some flower beads and they're all in the antique copper tone color and there's a nice selection here of different shapes and styles very nice Again, more options for designing. This is a nice bag. It has a lot of stuff in it and um, a lot of thought in it. You can tell that. And we've got some jump rings and some heart links. Perfect for Valentine's Day here. We've got these really cute little heart links in the rose gold tone very nice and of course again making a little bracelet all you'd have to do is put some of your jump rings and you could make a bracelet just out of these links that would be really cute and then we've got some ear wires that are in the antique copper tone also and these are ear wires I use quite often you just drop your loop of your whatever you're making onto it and then just close the front I like these little ball ended type of ear wires. A little bit different style. Make things a little bit more unique. And we've got some cord ends here. Because we've got a whole bunch, I think it's like five yards of nylon cording and you've got the cord ends so you can do a lot with this nylon cording and it's it's a variated color mix here very nice and you can do some macrame or whatever you would like with that and we've got some leather cording which really will go nicely with the colors and the tones in this bag and um, I believe this is a yard and um, leather cord distressed leather the color is Peru and it is one yard and it's two millimeters in diameter very nice I'm going to open it because I think yeah it's nice and soft yeah this would be really nice to work with very nice so all of this is well thought out you can make a plethora of pieces and make them all very different because you have so many different little options here and then we have this rhinestone button here this is really cute these are always make very nice clasps when you're you just make a loop around your beads and then of your beads and these make a really nice clasp also works really nice with leather or cording to have a shank button to start and finish your pieces with this is really cute look at this I'm going to get you really close this is really cute I'm going to be using that for sure I like that and you know me sparkle girl and then there's a couple of these little filigree pieces here these are rose gold colored and you can just um, link to them and use them as an earring you could just put your ear wire right on them and have an earring they're very lightweight would make perfect earrings and there's many things you can do with these little guys because you can just link to them you can also bead weave into them put um, little tiny beads on them these are pretty small but you can do a lot with these filigree pieces so um, then we have some stretch cord and I believe this is also a yard yes a yard of 0.6 to 0.7 millimeter 
stretch cord, stretch cord. So you have all kinds of options to make from the simplest to the most complicated piece you would like to make. I am going to arrange everything together here and I'm going to show you the entire selection and we'll call it good. Be right back. Okay, here is the entire selection. Now, I didn't want to put it all in a big pile because I don't want to have to separate it all out. I want to be able to keep it nice and neat so that I can design with this. I was thinking of making a tutorial with this unboxing, but there was so much more in here than I thought was going to be in here that my unboxing has been long enough. So I will make a tutorial with this box and I will post it separately. We will also be making tutorials together on the 7th and we're going to release it at noon and that is mountain time. But it will, we will both be releasing a video combining the two boxes together. So my treasure bag and her box we will make a piece from them so um i hope you'll tune into that and i think that's going to be fun something different and i'm excited about that make things shake things up a little bit and i will make a piece with this too so um if you are interested in this bag again you are going to go to homestrongjewelry.com and if you want the actual subscription that comes out every other month, then just leave them a message and they will get back to you. So you can leave a message on the support um, out, applet on the, their website or perhaps there's a chat applet. Leave a message there and they will get back to you and sign you up for the subscription. However, there are they have made one-time boxes of this for my viewers. So if you want to get this particular box, go ahead and go to their website now. It's a limited amount. They will sell out quickly. So if you want one, go grab one and I will make a tutorial with this and Deb will be making tutorials with these. So you will have tutorials to follow. So, and I will make a couple actually. So this is what we've got. And um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give it a try. I, for the amount of gemstones and different findings and things that it, are in this bag, it's a great value. So go ahead and check it out and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.